Welcome to the introduction to DNA Engine. This is Dan Palafian. DNA Engine is an open source library for building semantic templates that convert JSON data into dynamically generated DOM elements. To illustrate how to use DNA Engine, we will take a very simple static HTML page that displays the title and author of two books and convert the web page to use a data-driven semantic template to display books stored in a JavaScript array. Before we get going, we need to load the DNA Engine library. Leveraging a CDN, Content Delivery Network, we can do this in two lines of code. In the head section, add a link tag to get the CSS file for DNA Engine. Then add a script tag to load the JavaScript file. Now we can convert the static HTML into a template. To build the template, we only need HTML for a single book, so we can delete the second book. Name the template with the ID attribute, and in this case, the name of the template will be book. We designate the element as a template by adding the class DNA-template. Next, we create data fields in the template by wrapping each field name in double tildes. Our first field is for the book title. This becomes tilde tilde title tilde tilde. We do the same thing for the author field, and our template is now complete. Let's add some JavaScript to define the book data and then send that data to the template engine. Our example book object will have the title field set to the DOM and the author field set to Jan. The last step is to call the DNA.clone function to make a copy of the book template and inject the data into the template. When we reload the web page, we can see our book titled The DOM by the author Jan. Most likely, we want to display a list of books. All we need to do is rename the book variable to books and change its value from a single object to an array of objects. Let's add two more books titled Howdy HTML5 and Style and CSS3. The DNA.clone function automatically generates a list of clones when the data is an array of objects. Back to the browser, refresh, and there's our three books, The DOM, Howdy HTML5, and Style and CSS3. For more information, including cloning options, animation, and event handling, check out the documentation on the dnaengine.org website. From there, you can also get to the GitHub project and post issues with questions.